What's going on everybody? It's Patrick from Mid-10 Outdoors. How is my outdoor crew doing? It's the first of the year. New year, it's 2024. I'm getting out actually a couple days before, but this is going to be the first video for 2024. Uh, got a couple things to show you that I've added to the truck and that's what this video is going to be about. But first, I've got to go get some coffee and then I've got to get to where I'm going to go. I'm letting the truck warm up now. It is a chilly. Right now it says, hang on, I never trust the, the truck temp. It says it's 42 degrees, but I know there's a wind chill part around the low th mid 30s. So it's a cool day. I have gloves with me. I've got this nice, look at this sweater thing my wife bought me. It's like super warm. Got a t-shirt under it, a base layer under it, and I'm actually wearing long pants. I'm wearing long pants, guys. Okay, got below freezing, so I wore put long pants on. But anyways, let's go get some coffee and everything, and then uh, we'll get into what, what I've added to the truck. And uh, it's all kind of safety and preventive stuff. All right, guys, I'm at the first park I'm headed to today doing a lot of photography stuff for the other channel but right now i'm at Cedar, cedars 11 state park i've got a couple things i want to bring to you today that's in the truck we'll do that here in a little bit uh probably do that in a separate location i may do it here we'll see but anyways guys um just getting out and getting outdoors doing a lot of photography stuff if you don't know about the other channel that's all it's about is photography and filmmaking um you'll find out what i was shooting with today some kind of cool things some really cool things and an old thing in the back so anyway go over and check out the other channel you'll see all the photography stuff for it on it um, but i will be posting some photography still on this channel on mid 10 outdoors so uh let's quit screwing around let's get down here where i was wanting to go and we'll talk about what I've added to the truck. All right, guys, so we're here at Cedars 11 State Park. I've been shooting around. I uh, shot the old uh, lodge that's sitting right across the street from me right now, right over there. I'll toss in a picture that uh, I took with the other cannon. I'm trying to warm up. Um, I was going to try to shoot what I put in the truck here lately in this video or at this park, but I think I'm going to go somewhere else because there's a lot. There's a lot more people here than I thought there would be. I don't know. Um, but um, we're going to take off and head on somewhere else. And I'll uh, pick you up there. Okay, I got to share this with you guys. So I'm Googling over to my next location. <laughs> it must think I'm walking. I must have hit walking instead of driving. Because it says it's going to take me 3 hours and 18 minutes to get there. And it's only 9.1 miles away. I must have hit walking it. But anyway, that's kind of funny. Um, let's see if you can see that. Yeah, you can see that. But anyway, I thought that was funny. Um, I must have hit walking. Jeez. All right, guys. We'll be back as soon as I get over there. And I'll show you what I got for the truck. Okay. So we're here at uh, my other little location I use from time to time. I was going to point out how low the lake is right now. Um, kind of like the lake we saw up in Kentucky. They've got it real low right now. You can see the bank over there. But uh, yeah, they've got it on winter pool. That's, that's what they do here. All right, so let me show you the two things that I've added to the truck this year. The first one is this. It's called Prepared Hero fire blanket um, my wife has this thing about burning up and it would suck but um, 
it's a fire blanket you can put on fire put out the fire or if somebody's on fire which this guy looks like he's already lost part of a leg um, you can put somebody out with it so she got, she's got this one for upstairs downstairs at the house she's got one in her vehicle and I've got one in my vehicle so if I see anybody burning on the side of the road I can put them out Plus, I have fire extinguishers in the car, too. But anyway, so you could put out a, possibly a campfire with that thing. The second thing, the biggest fear I've always had being off-grid locations or whatever is get back in the truck and it not start. So let me show you what I got. I'm going to set the camera up real quick, down and dirty style here. Sorry if it's a lot of shakiness, but... That's the way it's going to be for right now. Well, let's do this. All right, so let me show you what I've got here. Um, this is Nico, Noco, however they pronounce it, GBX 45. So it's a 1250 cold cranking amp jump start pack. Um, does come with the cables and everything. Uses, I do like this part, uses USB C to charge, so it means it charges pretty quick there it is right there and then you have this outlet right here which is a USB A so it's got those two outlets on it then right here is where you would plug in your jumper cables um, power it on and you see it's full right now um, you do have a light which is right there it's got three modes on it then it's got strobe another strobe and then it's got that, which is pretty cool. I wonder if this thing's magnetic. Nope. So anyway, um, then it has an over override mode. Not sure what that is. I'll have to read the book. Um, but anyway, 60 second timer. There's a lot of stuff I have. I don't know about this thing. I haven't read about it yet. Um, but I went ahead and put it in the truck and turn it off, turn it on. That's always been my biggest fear is get in the truck and I don't have, I have a dead battery because I left something on. Um, oh. It is hunting season and I think I'm going to get back in the truck. No. Um, anyway, it is in a nice little pack. I'm going to keep it in the back of the truck to have. Um, I have jumper cables, but if you're out somewhere and you don't have another vehicle to jump off of, well, this would be great to have in hand. Um, but yeah, I'll leave the I'll leave the link for this and for the fire blanket down below. But uh, that's pretty much it. I'm gonna do some more riding around, some more picture taking, and that kind of stuff. But I wanted to show you that stuff. I, couple one thing I got for Christmas one thing my wife got for the whole family is that fire blanket um, she's gonna actually mount it upstairs where everybody can get to it and there's gonna be one downstairs and I got you way too there we go um, and then I've got one in my truck and we're gonna put one in her van so we've always got one on us but anyway that's it guys I appreciate you watching I hope you have a good new year or I hope your new year was great um, I'm actually headed now somewhere else to do some more photography. Um, may take a picture of the lake down here before I leave. And if I do, I'll throw it up. All right, guys, that's it for this one. I appreciate you watching. Stay tuned because we're fixing to start uh, really getting in things for the year. I uh, got a Jeep ride coming up in two weeks. In two weeks. So, I have some other things to bring to you. We've got some other things we want to do. It's cold. It's winter in Tennessee. And when I say it's cold in winter in Tennessee, it's in the 30s, okay? It's cold for us. But, all right, guys, that's it. Hit that subscribe, like, share, and all that other good stuff. Be prepared. See you on the next one.